Oral irrigation is a technique that uses a device with water or other solutions to assist plaque removal. The device is called oral irrigator or more commonly water flosser and is used after toothbrushing. Periodontal disease is caused by organisms that colonize and proliferate in supra and subgingival regions. Oral irrigation can safely and effectively remove biofilm and improve periodontal health. The objectives of oral irrigation is to reduce bacteria and byproducts that lead to initiation or progression of periodontal disease. Supragingival irrigation is aimed at disruption and dilution of bacteria causing gingivitis. Subgingival irrigation prevents initiation and further destruction of the periodontium. Mechanism of action The device acts by directing pulsated stream of water on tooth surface under pressure. So, the mechanism of action of irrigation is through pulsation and pressure. Pulsation leads to decompression phase causing water or the solution to penetrate the subgingival region. This is followed by compression phase that drives the bacteria and debris out of the pocket. So pulsation in combination with pressure and velocity of water creates shear hydraulic forces due to the movement of the fluid and removes the bacterial biofilm or the dental plaque. The pulsation speed can range from 1200 to 1400 pulses per minute at a pressure of 60 psi. There are zones created by pulsation, impact zone, the area with which the fluid makes initial contact and the flushing zone, the depth of penetration of the fluid within the sulcus or the pocket. There is a difference between powered and non-power driven oral irrigators. Power driven irrigators generate pulsating jet of water, however non-power driven have uncontrolled water pressure. Power driven irrigators are adjustable and have a dial for regulation of water. Water pressure cannot be adjusted in non power driven irrigators. Tips of power driven irrigators can rotate 360 degree. Tip needs to be changed for the non power driven irrigator. The oral irrigating device has a built in pump that generates the pressure and a tip that guides the solution into the target area. Tips can be placed supragingivally or subgingivally. The supragingival tips are placed above the gingival margin at a 90 degree angle. This allows for 50% of pocket penetration on an average. The subgingival tip is soft and size specific and that allows for 90% penetration in pockets that are 6 mm or less and 64% penetration for pockets 7 mm and greater. The primary objective of supragingival irrigation is to flush away the bacteria coronal to the gingival margin thereby diminishing the potential of developing gingivitis or decreasing gingival inflammation. Supragingival tips are recommended for full mouth irrigation or cleansing. They are available as traditional jet tips as well as tip enhanced with bristles or filaments for biofilm removal. Subgingival tips are used to flush away bacteria from inaccessible areas. These are recommended after full mouth cleaning for localized cleaning of deep pocket, furcation, implant, crown and bridge. For supragingival irrigation, the supragingival tip which has a 90 degree bend is placed at the proximal papilla for 10 to 15 seconds. It is then moved along the gingival margin to the next proximal surface and is continued for each draw. In patients with gingival inflammation, it is advised to use the irrigator at a low pressure and pressure can be increased as the tissue health improves. Subgingival irrigation can be performed at home as well as in dental office after scaling and root planing. These tips are fine and long. The subgingival irrigation tip should be gently inserted into the pockets or vacation areas, 3 mm if possible, and each pocket should be flushed for a few seconds. This process is called as lavage or flushing of the periodontal pocket. Solution used for oral irrigators are water, diluted chlorhexidine, 10% tetracycline, 0.5% metronidazole or 3% hydrogen peroxide. Oral irrigation can be indicated in gingivitis, implants, crown and bridge, orthodontics, diabetic patients and in periodontal maintenance. Clinical outcome of oral irrigation are it reduces the biofilm, periodontal pathogens, bleeding on probing, probing depth and gingivitis.
So to summarize, oral irrigation effectively removes biofilm and improves periodontal health. The device acts by directing pulsated stream of water on the tooth surface under pressure. The pulsation speed is 1200 to 1400 pulses per minute and pressure is 60 psi. Tips can be placed supra gingivally or sub gingivally. Supra gingival tips are used for full mouth irrigation or cleansing. Sub gingival tips are used for full mouth cleaning, localized cleaning of deep pocket, furcation, implant, crown and bridge. Supra gingival tip has a 90 degree bend and is placed at the proximal papilla for 10 to 15 seconds while the subgingival irrigation tip should be gently inserted into pockets or vocation areas up to 3 mm. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. We hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for further updates. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.